Hello folks and welcome to today's quick tip tutorial where I'm going to demonstrate how I change my grey savage paper backdrops into any colour that I want. So it's a very simple process which is going to happen inside of Photoshop. I'm going to right click on this image here inside of Lightroom and send it over to Photoshop 2022 where it's opening right now. I want to make a selection of my subjects off of the background and this is a simple process. Simply head over to the object selection tool and then click the button that says select subject and Photoshop will do an automatic selection of our subjects and it does a pretty good job here because our background is very very easy to detect. Okay, It's not perfect so we're going to make a little bit of an adjustment over here. I'm just going to draw around that little gap okay to get a selection of our of our hubby's hand here and all i'm going to do is hold down the alt key and i'm going to change and remove this little gray patch in between the fingers and her arm okay so we've got this little gray area selected as well i'm going to be zooming out of our image over here and then i'm going to go over to select and i'm going to go to inverse or if you want shift Control i on your keyboard so what's happened now is that our background is being selected, which leads us nicely into the next step. All I'm going to go and do is select our photo filter and watch what happens. I'm going to click photo filter and you can see instantly there's a bit of a change in the color of our background. And it's nothing significant at this stage until you play around with the density. So let's do that right now. As I shift the little density key up over here, you can see our background is becoming nice and warm and it's got all of these different colors, all these different shades of brown, okay? Now there's two key areas of changing colors in the background here that will help us. First of all, this density slider helps us adjust the density of that color or saturation effectively of that color. Under the drop down menu, we've got different warming and cooling filters. I kind of like using the the 82 cooling filter over here. Usually this is set on the default, which is pretty low. Usually here about 20 or 19 in this case. And you've also got a control over the luminosity of your background. So I've just clicked the little check, mark, uh, check box over here. And I can either preserve that luminosity like now, or I can turn it off, which will then darken my background. Okay. So that was a very, very simple process of changing that gray backdrop into this nice blue. Again, just covering this again, you've got some presets over here that you can use, or you can click on the little box over here and you can go through literally any color that you want. Again, as I said, if your background is still quite grayish, it's a simple case of moving the density slider to bring in more colors okay in this case yeah i just want to go back to my lovely little blue color like so and click okay and that is complete okay we've got this beautiful change of color from grays into a nice pastel blue in this case again i might just come up and increase the intensity here or density rather and preserve luminance i'm going to have that switched on okay pretty happy with those colors I'm just going to make a slight change over here. Uh, there we go. I like that. The reason why I've gone for blue in this particular case is for the aesthetic appeal. All right, we've got complementary colors going on in our image here. Because she's wearing a yellow top, I wanted to complement that top with the blues over here because we've already had this blue starting point with, with Daddy and the sun being in the color blue. So there you have it, folks, a very simple way to change Savage Grey paper backdrops into any color that you want. Thank you very much for tuning in to today's tutorial, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.